Hello, and welcome to our walkthrough of the mile site settings and menus. Now, as this is a very long video, we won't be talking over the whole video and instead just cherry picking some of the key settings to talk about. If you want to skip ahead and look at specific settings or menus, then simply scroll down to the description below this video where you'll find the full list of timings for each section of the video. One last thing to mention is that the camera we're using for this demo is the UI 2A61 EPCV 2 megapixel mini PTZ bullet. And so as well as covering the basic settings that you'll find on all Milesight cameras, we'll also cover the PTZ settings that you'll see on the Milesight PTZ models. So to start things off, we're going to go through some of the features of the live view. These include PTZ presets, PTZ speed, auto iris and stream switching.
After the playback page, we have the basic settings section where we start with the video settings. This page allows you to adjust the video settings of each stream. These settings include video codec, frame rate, and bit rate. We now come to the network section. 
This section features many network features that you can set up including HTTP, DDNS, VLAN and more. We aren't going to go into any detail here because the majority of these settings are incredibly specialised and most end users won't use them. After basic settings we have the advanced settings section. The first tab in this section is alarm. These menus allow you to set up and schedule a variety of alarms including basic motion detection and it also allows you to set up how the camera should react to things like a loss of network or conflicted IP addresses. A few menus later we arrive at the Smart Events menu. This is where you can set up and manage the Smart VCA features like people counting, line crossing, tamper detection and more. Only Milesite cameras with the letter V at the end of the product code will have this menu as they come with a full Milesite VCA package. Almost all the Milesite cameras have access to the VCA package and those that don't are newer models that are in the process of being upgraded to use it in the near future.
Next we have the PTZ menu. This menu is obviously only available to the Miles like PTZ cameras and the tabs in this menu allow you to activate features like preset freezing, auto home, PTZ scheduling and more. The final two pages are system and maintenance. The system page features all the basic information of your camera like model number, lens type, MAC address and device name, which you can change to anything you want. The final page is maintenance. The main purpose of the maintenance page is to update the camera's firmware, but the page also lets you know the current firmware of the camera, reboot and reset the camera, as well as importing and exporting config files. Thank you for watching and subscribing. If you haven't subscribed already, please do by clicking the Use IP logo. Check the description below for links to our webshop, Facebook, Twitter, and Google Plus feeds. If you want more videos like this, click the playlist on screen. Thanks again for watching, and see you in the next video.